literally been so long since I filmed, I don't even remember what to do anymore. Hello, my name is Erin and welcome back to my channel. Or welcome to my channel if this is the first time you're here. I'm so sorry for my lack of videos the past two months, guys. I got a new job. I am a very busy, busy beaver. I owe you a get ready with me to tell you all about my new job. It's so exciting where I've been, what I've been doing. But for now, we are doing my Project Pan update. What I am doing is because I have so finished up so many of these products, I'm just going to keep doing the Project Pan on my own for the products that I haven't finished up because I feel like there's no products that I have in my collection right now that like I want to have goals towards. So anything that I finished up or had goals to finish up with, I already have. So need suggestions for videos, so leave them down below. And if you guys are wondering about my shirt, it's from Skull House Designs, which my lovely friend Kelsey owns. So I'll leave a link down below. You can check it out. But in the meantime, let's check out my prog progress for my project pan. Let's start with things I finished. I finished my facial radiance pads by First Aid Beauty. I love these. These are really good for traveling and they're really good just for like if you're out of toner or anything like that. They're really, really nice. I'll probably buy these again towards the winter like Christmas sets. I dropped one of my ColourPop highlighters and it shattered and broke, but I did finish up the other one. So these were Fire and On the Cusp from ColourPop. I do not plan on buying any ColourPop highlighters anytime soon. I have a cream highlighter in my new Natasha Denona palette, but I don't know. I, I still go back and forth with cream highlighters. I just started using cream bronzers, so we'll see how it goes. This is my primerizer. I used it today, and I'm like having a really hard time like squirting anything out of it. Um, like there's hard. Oh, okay, a little bit just came out of it. I have been loving this so much, like. I wear makeup a lot for work now, a lot more than I used to. So I'll do my makeup when I first get out of the shower and instead of using both a moisturizer and a primer, I've just been using the primerizer. And I highly recommend buying the small one if you are looking to buy it because the small one's only $15 and it's half an ounce, but the big one is one ounce and it's 42. So even if you buy two small ones, you really like work out with that. I've been loving it. I just had my 20% off coupon for Ulta and I used it for it. Plus it has a 24 month shelf date. So even if you don't use it up, it'll still be good. I highly, highly recommend that. Speaking of Smashbox, I also highly recommend my primer water, which I'm actually going to give a spritz to right now because I've had this makeup on since about 11 a.m. and it's maybe like 8 o'clock right now. I love this. I don't use this every time I do my makeup, but I still use it. You can see that I made the lines. And that's a good amount. I highly recommend it. My Maybelline powder. I haven't been giving this one as much attention as I've been giving my Cover FX powder lately. I love this powder. As you can see, it's like almost out. But I love this powder. It is really good. I just feel like it oxidizes. Like the more I use other powders, the more I feel like this oxidizes foundation. Plus, you can see it on my hand that it's like this shade now that I'm a little tanner is not as good for me. So I'm still going to try to use it up, but just like not in an official project pan. I'm getting rid of my Kapari Lip Glossy. I'm done with it. I just, ugh, no, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. My ColourPop Shadow in Telepathy, this just dried up. It's my last ColourPop shadow. I did hit pan on it. You see that I hit pan on it. But I wore it in my inner corners the other day. Kind of how some people do just like a really plain eye and then like a bright inner corner. I tried doing that and it didn't, didn't look right. So that's gonna go. I made absolutely no progress on this L'Oreal powder because I'm gonna be honest, the only two powders that I use are my MAC Studio Fix and my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I am contemplating like decluttering all my other powders and the only three other ones that I have are all drugstore so I don't know maybe I'll keep it for the summer just to like keep in my purse because that's what I used to do but who knows and last but not least this is my NARS natural radiant foundation in the shade Santa Fe I on purpose did not shake it I'm not wearing it today I'm wearing the L'Oreal one today but I bought this in March of last year so it's like not quite a year and a half and I feel like there's a 
starting to be like a layer of oil on top so i might chuck it i don't know i want to finish this up so bad but either way i did make progress on it and i feel like when you shake it up it's like part of it goes on the bottle you know I don't know. I'll use it until I can't pump it anymore. Hey everyone. So that was my project pan progress. Maybe if I have any products towards like fall or winter, like you, I can't even do it. Use it all by fall because we're officially in summer and I don't have any products to use up or maybe I'll do something like wear it by winter. Like I did a couple years ago, but that's it for today. Don't forget to leave me suggestions down below for some videos you'd like to see from me. And remember you was kind, you was smart, you was important. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.